Today on Belinda's Babies, we will explore Aruba as I adventure around Aruba with a reborn baby, not... <laughs> Hello, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, we move. It's Moving Wednesday with Charlotte, with my sweet Ruth. I was going to say Ruby, <laughs> Ruth, Matilda, and my Charlie Brown. This is my carriage where I keep these sweet angels. You don't see them very often because they're in the carriage. I want to keep them pristine and then I cover them up. Not that I don't want to keep mine pristine, the art that I've done. I know how to fix my own art. I don't want to fart with anybody else's art because I don't want to risk. These are all heat set paints. Mine are air dry, I don't know the differences. Look at Matilda's nails. They're so pretty. So Wednesday calls for Movement Wednesday. So let's get to it. <laughs> It is Wednesday. How many times do I have to say that? <sighs> so guys, thank you for joining me again. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am, I am having a thinking day and a thinking day and I will probably continue to think today, debatably think about different things. What are you guys thinking about? I've seen a video today by one of um, uh, YouTubers, Reborn YouTubers, that spoke about how she came up in her feed a lot of um, reels where people are utilizing re to re reborn babies, or she thought, to increase or help their video go viral by sticking in some fake babies in there. Um, with some real babies and having dramatic effects like removing the eyeballs and putting other eyeballs in and, and things like that. And so that is um, something that she felt people are doing just to get that shock factor and to get people to kind of want to watch the videos. I don't know. There's lots of people. We all are involved. You can't say we're not. We all think about, with intent, our titles, our thumbnails, and our video content. We all watch each other's videos to get ideas for titles, thumbnails, and video content. We get box openings for those things. I don't believe you if you tell me that you don't do that. If you're 100%, just do it. Because if you're just doing it, and it's basically, well, let me think. I'm not here to just get followers, but it would be nice if you had a lot of followers and a lot of people contributing to your channel and you actually made a little bit of cash to buy more babies. <laughs> That's always nice. However, 
I think in a way it's kind I don't want to say it's a competition, but hmm, how do I word this without people jumping all over me? We're not jealous of other people. We're just wanting to get our channel out there. And if we didn't, we wouldn't say things like, like, subscribe, share with your dolly friends. And there's a lot of people out there that are watching my videos that are not subscribed. So you better subscribe. My analytics tell me this. We wouldn't say any of that if we weren't wanting to increase our our um, channels and our subscribers and our um, viewing content or viewing hours. So yes, we're all doing it. There's people out there I know that for many, many years are just showing their babies and they're doing it because they're interacting with other people and they don't care about that so much. There probably is, but I think it's few and far between, honestly. Um, there's nothing wrong with what any of us are doing. It's fun. You got to have fun what you do, right? And if you have the added bonus for a little bit of extra, that's beautiful. I'm not in that place. I am in the place of, I think now I can, yeah, people can send me stuff during lives. What is it called? Some kind of stickers and stuff like that during lives. There's nothing else going on on my channels. So I don't know if that's considered monetized or not. I don't think that's considered monetized. I guess I could have a membership prescription if I wanted to now. I just don't feel that's where my channel is. I'd have to do something really special. <laughs> and um, I'm not there yet to um, reach out and kind of say, hey, you want to join my membership for $5 a month? I'm not there yet. But <laughs> I'm just... Um, honest, open, and willing to talk about why we do do these YouTube channels. Um, and yes, we will all say we do it for fun. We don't care about subscriptions. We don't care about viewers. We don't care about sharing. We don't care about this. We don't care about that. But there's always intent. I believe there's always an intent. If there wasn't, we wouldn't say like, share, subscribe, make a comment, all those things that we, if you haven't been here before, subscribe. If you've been here before, thank you. All that stuff that a lot of us do say, do put up little, what do you call it? Little stickers, little moving characters, little whatever on our videos. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's also a validation that, hey man, people like me. It's like, it's kind of like back to like when you were young. Do they like me or they don't like me? Let's make a poll on Facebook, on YouTube. What do you like to see in videos? This, 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 or this. Because we want to have engagement. We want to be interesting. We want to be entertaining. <laughs> but my intent also is to serve my need. That sounds terrible. But not the need for money. That's always fun. But the need for feeling... I'm part of a community, that people are interested in what I have to say, that people are interested in my babies, that I do exist in this world, even though for the most part, I'm very far, far away from all of you great folks. Um, there's not too many people close to me that watch me. Um, well, Angela and some family. But other than that, oh, there's somebody else I know. There's a couple people, but they're not super close. And um, it's interesting because you get on YouTube, personally me, and I see what's going on in the YouTube world today, in the reborn community world. And we go down and we look, and I know people make content videos on what so-and-so had to say, or what did you think about this comment or can you believe she said that or I gotta jump on this bandwagon well, everybody's talking about the difference between this and that and blah 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 and then it becomes this petty kind of 
And I've, I've been there too. Like, you know, all dolls do matter. That's not petty. That's, that's just jumping on the bandwagon of that support. And jumping on a bandwagon of support is a good thing. You're supporting others. You're supporting positivity. You're supporting love, fun, and, um, collecting of whatever you want. It's not a hateful thing. Um, so yeah, there's so many channels. And have you noticed how many channels are out there? Nothing to do with Reborns. I found it through Reborns because people's channels that critique other people's channels and other people's content. And they critique, oh my gosh, there's ladies that run around with these dolls and act like they're this and that and real. And they do it because they're lonely and they do it because they have a mental health issue and they do it because they lost a child and they do it because there's something wrong with them. That's why they do it, don't you know? You know, and, and so they're trying to get content and things from other people's content. I've watched one guy who talks a lot about you, Eugenie Clooney, and that's mostly who he focuses on. His whole channel is focused on what she's doing in her life, critiquing her life, um, critiquing her videos, playing her videos and talking about them. <laughs> you mean, it's interesting, isn't it? So how far over the line are you willing to go to get that viral video? Are you going to diss people? Are you going to make fun of people? There's people out there that make fun of people, right? And that's how they get these beautiful, I don't want to say beautiful, massive amounts of likes, follows, subscriptions, view time hours. Because let's be real here, people. We all love a little trash once in a while, don't we? It's terrible. We feel guilty. We do love a little trash once in a while or it wouldn't go the way it does, right? I mean, who are all these people watching this crap of doodles? I do sometimes. You know, I do. But at the end of the day, can you look yourself in the mirror and say, yes, I did right by me. Yes, I did right by what I stand for in life. Can you say that at the end of the day? That is the big question. So how far are you willing to go to get a viral video? I will continue to watch other people's YouTube um, thumbnails and see, oh, that's attractive. Maybe I should do one like that. Or look at this title. You know, I, I kind of feel like I try to, because for the most part, my titles are just basically what the video is about. Bobby Joseph gets a new outfit. You know, but I don't say things like, hey, what happened to Bobby? Or you would not believe what happened next, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The Internet world, the entertainment world. <laughs> I will say, guys, I love being in this world. I love having fun. I love making videos. Um... It, I don't know, but YouTube thumbnails, they can be time consuming. You know, Rebecca's Cloud Kids, I think that's her name. She makes some beautiful thumbnails, but I know it's time consuming. And individuals who don't do that don't realize the time consuming part of it. You know, and it is consuming and editing videos and making the videos and all that stuff. You do have to be committed to it. You do have to want others to watch it, to motivate you, to keep on going, to keep doing what you love to do, talking about your baby dolls, your hobby, your artistry, the fun you have. And what else can I say? I think that's it. So what shall I name this video? How I made a viral video, dot, dot, dot. No, that's not attractive. Um, Movement Wednesday. No, that won't bring people. Hmm. Exercising in my bedroom with a reborn doll. 
That might work. Dancing with the Reborn doll. I didn't do that in the video, but it's kind of like a, a lead in. It's kind of like a, what do you call those? What is the term they use when you press on something and, and it's not really what it was? Oh, I can't remember. Um, hmm. The little old lady with all the dolls? The little old lady who lived in the shoe with all the dolls? No, that's not going to work. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'll think of something. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for watching. We'll see you tonight if you're around. And, um, hmm, I think this lady needs another cut of, cup of tea. Maybe it should be, how many cups of tea do I drink in the, no. Five cups of tea is good for me. That might attract tea lovers, and then they might like dolls, and then they might, or does that fuck up the algorithm? Algorithm. Because I'm talking about tea and not dolls, and then the... YouTube forget I don't know. The YouTube forgets and, and sends me on a TV avenue and then, I don't know. <laughs> From all of us here on Belinda's Babies, we'd like to say bye. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs>